In my patterns, I like to place the beads on the wrong side, and I'm going to show you how to use a small steel crochet hook to place a bead. So first thing I'm going to do is spear the bead with my hook. And now I wanna place the bead on this first stitch right here. So I'm going to hook that stitch, push my bead from the crochet hook onto the stitch, take the stitch off the needle, press the bead kind of farther down onto the stitch, and now replace the stitch on my needle, and now I'm ready to work the stitch. So in this case, it's on the wrong side, and I'm going to be purling it. So that's how you would place a bead with a crochet hook. Another way I like to place beads is with super floss. Super floss is made for braces and it has a long end of just plain dental floss. Then it has a little fluffy part and then this end right here is stiff. So I'm gonna use the stiff end to place my bead. This is great to travel with because you can actually string your beads on the floss end. So the first thing I'm going to do is bring my bead up onto the fat fluffy part. And usually it will just stay there ready to place. So now I'm going to place my bead on this first stitch. So I want to put the end of my super floss through that stitch fold it over on itself. And you can see here's the very end. I'm going to put that bead up over that end. So there are two um, bits of the super floss right through that bead. Now I'm going to pull my stitch off of my left needle, pull my bead down over the stitch, and then replace the stitch on my needle and now I can work that stitch however I want to. So that's going to be a purl. So basically the same technique but just using kind of a cool little thing that you can travel with.